CC and Romeo, Monday through Saturday on 93.5 K-Day. It's time to 5K Day Morning Show. CC and Romeo, it's that time again. Look, Thanksgiving weekend, but DJ Cass is in the building. Welcome back to the show, my man. Yes. Thank you for having me, my favorite station in the world. Hey, I we, love that. And we love the fact that you say it every time because you mean it. Yes. I do mean it. It's my go-to. I heard day. that. Well, you're our go-to for this weekend, man. Let's talk about it. So this weekend for Pastor Mike is all about the 70s and 80s, right? So this weekend directly after the Soul Train Awards on BET is DJ Cassidy's Pass the Mic BET Soul Train Edition 2021. So this year is the 50th anniversary of Soul Train. Ooh, that's dope. Five decades of magical moments in soul music and hip hop music. And I really wanted to focus in on an era, on a period of time that spoke most deeply to the legacy of Soul Train. So I focused on celebrating this era roughly between 1975 and 1985 because it was a real pivotal time. There were a lot of transformative moments happening in the culture, a lot of merging um, of musical genre between disco, R&B, funk, soul, even rock and roll, and of course, into hip hop. So a lot of things were changing and happening during that time. And you really saw those transformations on the dance floor of Soul Train. So I wanted to focus in on that era, celebrate those artists and those records, which are all universal, timeless records. I mean, all the records on this show are big, monumental records that we all know the words to no matter who you are, no matter where you are. Nice. Absolutely. Now, I have a question for you that I'm always thinking of when I watch your specials. How hard is it, DJ Cassidy, to get together all these artists for one past the mic special? Because, I mean, they're huge, legendary artists. It's, it's one incredible ride every time. You know, this is the eighth installment of the show. And after this episode, I will have passed the mic to 100 and 90 legendary artists. Wow. 190 iconic superstars on only eight episodes. And it's a surreal thing for, for me to even say aloud. I mean, for those watching, if you've seen them all, maybe you've seen some, and maybe there's a few of you that haven't seen any. I'm talking about, I passed the mic to Earth, Wind & Fire, Shaka Khan, Gladys Knight, Patti LaBelle, LL Cool J, Run DMC, Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, Salt and Pepper, Naughty by Nature, SWV, TLC, mm. Keith Sweat, Teddy Riley, Boys to Men, all six members of Name New Edition, dropping. Nelly, Ja Rule, Ashanti, Sean Paul, Beanie Man, Genuine, 112, Mace. I mean, the list goes on. So, in answer to your question, it's always a thrill ride. You know, some artists I have relationships with, others I don't. I track people down and I do, you know, I really try to be on all these calls myself. And I have two very special people that help me out. One man, DJ Chill Will of the legendary Get Fresh crew, Dougie Fresh. Yeah. Chill Will is, a, is, is, is an incredible man who knows everyone from every period. And um, he's been a huge fan of the show since the beginning and just kind of very naturally started to help me get in touch with artists. Another person that's on the team is Bowlegged Lou from Full Force from House Party. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I only met Lou a year ago when I was recruiting Full Force to be on Pass the Mic Volume 3, and then he became part of the team. So the three of us reach out to artists, and I speak to everyone directly. It's a personal thing. It's an intimate thing. And that love and kind of joy you see on the show, all that is real because I'm in awe of my musical heroes. And I think that really translates because I think the viewers are too, you know, these are all artists that we all adore and look up to. And I've had artists on the show ranging from the early seventies to the two thousands, yeah. you know, I've had artists on the show who are 80 something years old. And I've had artists on the show who are 35 years old and they're all legends. They're all living legends. They've all changed the game. 
Yeah, definitely have. DJ Cassie hanging out with the KD Morning Show, CC and Romeo. And got to be honest, man, your name carries weight. We know that for a fact. So has it been hard for you to get any particular person to be on the show? Like what kind of hoops did you have to jump through for any certain artist? Well, I will tell you, you know, I normally don't let out too many surprises, but there's there's a couple artists I want to tell you about on this show. Um, and one of them... Um, is someone I've known for a while, so I wouldn't call it jumping through hoops, but it just didn't work out. I tried to get this man on volume one. Mm -hmm. Then I tried to get him um, on the Soul Train edition last year. Then I tried to get him on the Mother's Day edition. Finally, I think the fourth time was a charm. He loves the show. It just, it just never worked out until now. He is really like the definition of living legend. He's released iconic records in five decades and 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 was so pivotal to this era that I'm celebrating the show. And that man, ladies and gentlemen, is Charlie Wilson. Mm. Hey, come yes, on. Yes, come on. Uh, uh, he's been one, you know, he's been an artist I've wanted from the very beginning on the show. And the second he pops on the screen, I mean, you just feel his warmth and star power. And you just know why. He's Charlie Wilson. And I'll tell you one more. There, there's a female counterpart to that. And I've wanted her on the show from day one, too. This was the perfect moment for her for reasons I don't want to explain. I want you to see it. But um, I'm going to be passing the mic to Stephanie Mills. <gasps> oh, my God. Fresh off the verses, yes. man. That's lovely right there. That's going to be beautiful. I love Stephanie Mills. Can nobody sport red lipstick like Stephanie Mills? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. I want, to tell you, I want to tell you one more surprise, if that's okay. With yes, you. of yes. course. <clears throat> so, you know, I know you guys play hip-hop and R&B. So I want to spread a little hip-hop to the conversation. It was important when celebrating this era that I explained through the show, of course, just through the journey of the music, um, I wanted to explain what was going on in this era. And, you know, look, I wasn't alive for most of this era, but of course I know what happened in this era. And there was a transformation into hip hop and how hip hop started to take over the dance floor and the airwaves. So I wanted to bring two of the original hip hop superstars together on this show, really, the first two hip hop superstars. So um, in addition to Stephanie Mills, in addition to Charlie Wilson, I'm also gonna be passing the mic to Curtis Blow and Melly Mel. Ooh, oh, that's legendary. Yes. That is so legendary. Talking about the beginning of hip hop, man, in, yes. a, in a real way, that's gonna be beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely. Many blessings to you, and you're doing such a fantastic job at what you do. We love it. And I want to talk to you about your uh, about the difference, because I'm curious, DJ Cassidy, how has the change been for you being a web series to being on television now? Well, the only difference in the show is the quality of the camera. Okay. And I said that once, and I'll say it before. I'm sitting in the same place I always sat, and I encourage the artists to shoot wherever they feel most comfortable. So some artists choose to shoot in their home, in their living room. Some people choose to shoot in their studio. Others have gone to other places that, that are special to them in their life. It's not a virtual show anymore. It was when we started. Now it's just you shoot where you want to shoot. You shoot yes. where you want to represent yourself. And the only difference in the show is the quality of the camera. I went from webcam to 4K. Other than that, the spirit, the setup is the show, um, you know, is, 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 is the exact same when we started. And that was really important to me. You know, I wanted the show to maintain its roots. I wanted it to feel like it always felt from day one. There was never two cameras or three cameras. It was one camera. And that's important because I wanted the artist to be speaking to me and mm -hmm. to the viewer like this. Yeah. And I never wanted to stray from that. And um, I think it's an important part of the show because I think what makes the show so special is that people connect with their favorite artists in a new way. We've all seen these artists. We've all heard these songs. But what makes it special is that there's a personal um, interaction going on. Yeah, man, definitely. DJ Cassie, hang out with the KD Morning Show, CC and Romeo. It's going down this weekend now. Look, man, is there one thing you discovered from any of these artists that you – may not have known before now that you've talking about doing past the mic so many. how many can you share a couple of stories that you may have learned now? just some fun facts <laughs> um 
Well, I'll tell you one thing that a lot of artists tell me, which I always find to be fascinating, which I always ask artists, did you know when you recorded this record, mm -hmm. um, X, Y, Z, that it was going um, to have the impact that it did forever and ever? I'm going to give you kind of, um, kind of like a secret one. So on the Mother's Day show, I had a man named Kenny Burke who sings the song Rising to the Top. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't know the name of the song Rising to the Top, you know it when you hear it. It's been sampled by Mary J. Blige for Love Without a Limit. It, um, it's, um, it's been sampled by Dougie Fresh, Rising to the Top. It was sampled by 50 Cent single last year. It's been sampled a dozen times in hip hop and R&B culture. And I said to Kenny on the Mother's Day show, did you have any idea when you played that bass line, when you sung those verses, that this song would not only become an iconic R&B record, but would really end up being monumental in hip hop culture? And he said he had no idea. Mm. And things like that always fascinate me because artists make these records really as kids most of the time. You know, they're 21, 22, 23, four, five. And decades later, they look back on a record and only now begin to understand the monumental cultural shift it changed. And, you know, Kenny Burke is an unsung hero. I mean, like, you know, if you Google him, 50 Cent has brought him out at shows. Mary J. Blige has brought him out at shows. And it was this one bass line that permeated through decades of music. Yeah, that's true. I that's can sit true. here and listen to him talk all day. He's like, got eight million yes, stories. Like, you know that. Just, but intriguing stories at that. Listen, K-Day Nation, DJ Cassidy's Pass the Mic, BT, uh, BT Soul Train Edition 2021 will immediately follow the Soul Train Music Awards, which airs on BET November 28th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I'm definitely going to watch that. But DJ Cassidy, here's the real question that I want to ask uh -oh. you. Okay, Here's the real question. Now, we had you on a few times already. We love you. You are our family. You're not our friend. You are a family member Facts. to us. You're part of K-Day. You're part of our squad. So uh, when are me and Romeo going to be able to go on past the mic? Uh, wait it's for it. Interesting. It's very interesting you should mm. ask that. You know, mm. because... As I proceed with the eighth episode, I'm beginning to think of new boundaries to break. <laughs> okay. New types of guests. Yes. So you know what? For all we know, there might be a radio show personality. There's a lot of legend. There's a lot of legendary hosts in the game. We Facts. might have to make that happen. Yeah, mm, we'll but you know that. what? These two work at your favorite radio station. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we can all share our musical and, stories. And speaking of my favorite radio station, I want to tell you one more thing. Because What's that? Because you mentioned Mary J. Blige. This past Friday, I put out a new record featuring Mary J. Blige and Snoop Dogg. Oh, oh my God. And this is the first time Snoop and Mary have ever collaborated on a record. That's wow. crazy. So this song is on Snoop's new album that came out a week ago, last Friday. Mm -hmm. The song is called Diamond Life. It's Snoop Dogg and DJ Cassidy featuring Mary J. Blige. And look, I don't like describing music too much. I want people to hear it and to feel it and describe it themselves. But what I can tell you is, if you love that mid-90s, iconic Mary J. Blige, New York, Uptown record sound, you're going to love this record because that's what I channeled. I wanted to capture the spirit of that era, the my life era, that prolific, mm. definitive Mary sound where you picture her strut and the hand in the air like hey. that. And, and I think we captured that. And when Snoop heard it, he's like, yo, I got to get down with this. And he wanted this song on his album. And I'm just so proud to be a part of it, sandwiched in between these two superstars that yes. have never collaborated before. Well, that you is made so that amazing. happen. Yes, and that is, listen, I was there at the listening party, and that song is amazing. So, yeah, you definitely got to check out uh, Ag Algorithm. That's what it's called. DJ Cassie, my man, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for popping in. It's going down this weekend. And look, mm -hmm. we just thank you for doing what you do, man. Continue bringing that. Because you're doing it for the culture. Uh, thank you, guys. And thank you guys at K-Day for doing what you do. You play the greatest music. I'm your biggest fan, and thank you for having me. My man, take care. Happy holidays. You too. All right.